Okay. Hi everybody, we're going to get started if you want to take a seat. Everybody wants to take a seat, we're going to get started here. <laughs> Good morning. morning. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank everyone for coming out today and to share in this very special event with my, fa my family and me. Uh, today marks a real milestone in the first phase of the quest to build a full-blown, world-class freestyle bike park. At this time, I would like to introduce uh, Supervisor Sharon Bronson to say a few words, and then I'll pick it up from there. Scott and good morning. Uh, this is a really good morning. Lots of activities and it's great to see every, each and every one of you out here. But I want to, I'm, I'm here today really to thank the Lyles family for all their efforts in making this happen. Um, I am an elected official. I represent the area and when they came to me, uh, I mean the world is run by those who show up. Scott and his family showed up and all of you that contributed to make this happen are to be congratulated. I want to introduce Jan, one of our Parks Commissioners. She was a great advocate, Jan, I think, for this park. Uh, I want to thank her very, very much. But again, special thanks to the Laos family for just taking a tragedy and turning it into this wonderful park. We're not done yet. Uh, we got a grant from uh, Scott got a grant from the Tahoma Autumn Nation uh, for some additional work, and hopefully by in the next year and a half, we'll get this all done and you will have your world-class facility, because you're a world-class guy. We started this quest out almost four years ago with the conviction that we were going to provide a recreational bike park site that would draw young riders away from the streets and into a facility where they can safely practice and perform their riding skills. If we can save one life of one child, the entire project is more than worth it. We started this mission to honor Corey's life, but soon realized it was about more than just our son. It's about the whole community. Families with children, young adults, and adults alike. As many of you know, this bike park is pretty rare around Southern Arizona. In fact, nothing like it exists anywhere in Pima County. So in that sense, this is the first sanctioned bike park of its kind. Since this is the first, we know that this will be a learning curve. There will be lots of obstacles to overcome and problems to figure out. We will work closely with Pima County to keep the jumps maintained and safe for all the riders. I would like to take some time now to thank some groups and individuals that have helped make this project possible. Chuck Huckleberry, County Administrator, Pima County Board of, of Supervisors and Committee Members. Huge thanks to Supervisor Sharon Bronson and Kiki Navarro and their entire staff for supporting this project 100% from the very beginning. 
George Cook, Carlo De Plato, Rafael Payan, Gregoria Tucker, and Steve Anderson, who have been instrumental from the very beginning. Lauren Ebb, Pima County Risk Management, and her staff. Pima County Wastewater and their entire staff for supporting the for supplying the dirt for this project. Priscilla Cornelio, David Cummings, and the entire staff of the Department of Transportation for transporting the dirt. Martina Gonzalez and her staff for all her hard work in getting this event organized. Joey Mahalka and her staff for drafting the flyer for this event. Tony Abaca for all the hard work that he did laying all the rock, beautiful rock road behind us, and all the drainage. <laughs> the entire staff, the entire staff at Pima County Natural Resource Parks and Recreation, and then some private companies, Granite Construction for, and all their employees and, and equipment started the project out with us. Shane was Strunk Excavating, who also supplied equipment and employees to help finish up the project. The Tool Rent Shop, who generously donated all hand equipment needed. Brad and Trees Phipps with a personal reality video who are at all of Corey's events videotaping all of the progress and putting it on the Corey Louse website. All of our family and friends who are there with us every step of the way and always offering their support. I would like to introduce my builders right now uh, who I could not have completed this project without by any means. <laughs> I'd like to call up Mr. Rocky Serna. Adrian, Wes Jones, and I don't know if Doug made it, but if he's here, he can come up here. Let's give it up for these guys. They did all the handwork, the sculpting. Thank you. Oh, uh, first of all, I just wanted to thank the uh, Laos family for, like you said, uh, turning something tragic around and making something positive out of it. It's just been amazing. Scott's such a great guy. And Lynn, thank you for all the support and pizza and drinks and all that. <laughs> um, and uh, just we're super excited to have something like this in the community. I think it's going to be great. And uh, hopefully uh, not the last project like it. So thank you guys very much. And thank you, Rocky. Thank you, Wes, for making this happen to you. Gosh, I mean, this is so awesome to have something so tragic turning into something so positive. And something that I normally do and love every day became a job. And it's not work, it's so it's so fun to do what I do and and get all this enjoyment out of it. Like all these families are so happy, all these kids are so happy they get a place to ride. And that's the bottom line, is that nobody's nobody's gonna get hit by a car now. Um, <clears throat> Thanks for giving me the opportunity to, to do what I do out here. Thank you. Um, to me, this is this is easy. This is this is the easy fun part. What you did was amazing. What you did for the community. What you had to go through. I mean, there's there's nothing else. There's no one else like you, man. You're amazing. Woo! Okay, we're gonna um, have a demonstration. I got I got a few selected demonstration riders. If they all. Pull up up here, all the demonstration riders, please. I want to put out a little demonstration at first and, and let everybody see how the track rides <laughs> and see how it is supposed to be rode. And then uh, basically after that, uh, the park will be open and we'll open it up to all the children out here. So demonstration riders, are you ready? Sure.